Okay, I'm pulling off for gas. I'm about halfway between Fort Dodge and Kansas City. And I see they're selling fireworks all over the place. Yeah, lost all my footage in Fort Dodge, all the really good footage, but hey, we'll start over again and do the best we can. First I gotta stop and get some gas. The Love's Truck Stop. So the footage I lost was mostly just at my uh, brother-in-law's with my brother-in-law at the cemetery where his great-grandfather was buried. He wanted some advice. There was an obelisk that was kind of tipped over a little bit. It's about five foot tall, but it was made out of marble. So we're talking about this is something that weighs a good 600 pounds or more. And it kind of tipped and it slid on the base. There's a concrete base, then there's a marble base, and there's, there's the obelisk. So I suggested if he was going to try it himself to rig up some tripod set up because he's got a lot of weight to lift and a engine hoist would be even better if he could do it that way and then uh, we looked over a couple of plots and saw some wooden forms and then we saw a truck with uh, gasoline uh, gasoline container sitting out beside it and saw some guys at the other end of the cemetery working and went over and talked to them and they were county workers and uh, Come to find out the older the two guys was kind of doing it as a side job for people for favors. And so uh, my brother-in-law asked him what would be the price. And he said, uh, I could probably uh, do it for $100 plus the materials. And he said, looking at it, it's probably going to be about $60 worth of cement. And uh, so I told my uh, brother-in-law, I'd probably offer him 200 bucks because I don't think if both of us did it together, if I came out there and helped you. Uh, we would do it a heck of a lot cheaper than that by the time we had to rent an engine hoist then we'd have to put plywood down all over the place to uh, move the hoist around without digging up all the grass and damaging it and then whatever we'd have to get done uh, by the time we bought and did everything it would definitely not be much of a savings and he said yeah I think you're right I don't think we could do it any cheaper so uh, he offered him uh, 200 He says, I'll, I'll give you 200 for doing it because uh, 160 sounded a little cheap. So my uh, brother-in-law said, I'll offer you 200 and uh, you got the job. So he said, uh, no guarantee I'll get it done this fall because he's got, you can tell he's got at least, I think, two on the one side and maybe two on the other side of the cemetery that he's working on. But um, if he didn't get it done by the end of this fall, he'd get it done next year in early spring. And so, uh, not too bad of a deal. Before the card was uh, totally useless, I did think that I lost all my pictures at the museum, at the Farm Toy Museum, but then I looked and I must have, while I was in Dyersville, downloaded them to my computer. And so... Uh, yeah, ended up not losing that. So anyway, I guess I'll turn you off right here. And when I get closer to Kansas City, I'll talk to you some more. Okay, I am in Kansas City now, getting close to Bob's house. And just in case anybody hasn't known, I've spread the word far and wide on Facebook that there is a meetup of all the Kansas City area bikers. And, uh... Probably now it's a little too late, so if you haven't heard by now, probably too late to change your plans, but I think there's gonna be at least six or seven of us. Of course, me and Bob, Dennis, Matt, Lori, Jennifer, and Gary, that I know of, possibly my nephew, Joshua, who also rides motorcycles, but he is uh, not a YouTuber. And uh, I think anybody else will pretty much be a surprise. So I think my next video will probably be related to the meetup. Unless I throw something else in between, I guess. 
So, next stop would be Bob, 1954 Shadow's house.